Good morning, Hopkinton Middle School, and welcome to HMS Today. I'm your host, Kevin Wang. Today, we'll hear your answers for question of the day. We'll spend a minute with our principal, Mr. Keller. Mr. Rockwood will have a new Fun Fact Friday, and you'll see a new picture for Have You Seen This? But first, here's Mrs. Ben Benick with today's announcements. Good morning, Hopkinton Middle School. Today is Friday, April 1st, a day nine, and here are this morning's announcements. Any student interested in participating in the BAA Club 120 Relay Challenge at the Boston Marathon finish line on Saturday, April 16th should come to an informational meeting on Friday, April 1st, that's today, in room 249 right after school. Attention grade eight students who are attending the Washington, D.C. trip, Please return your first packet of DC permission forms by Monday, April 4th to the guidance office. Late yearbook orders are being accepted in the blue box in the guidance office through Monday. Don't miss your opportunity to order your 2015-2016 yearbook. The application period for school busing for the 2016-17 school year is now open. Please remind your parents they need to take care of this. Staff talent show, come one, come all. Come and watch your teachers perform comedy, music, skits, and much, much more at the ta Staff's Talent Show tonight at 7 o'clock in the auditorium. Project 351 is hoping you can each bring in pieces of slightly used children's clothing that can be donated to the local charity called Cradles to Crayons. This charity helps underprivileged kids in Massachusetts. Just think you can transform the lives of others by giving items that you no longer use. Bins will be set up outside the main office. Thanks, and have a great day. Thank you, Mrs. Ben Benick. And now, to let us know what else is happening, here's Mr. Keller for a minute with the principal. Thank you. Well, hard to believe as it is that we're this far into the year, but in case you haven't noticed, welcome to April. Thanks to all of you for your attention, respect, and consideration at last Friday's presentation from Congressman Kennedy. He has a lot of speaking engagements, but not that, not that many at schools, let alone middle schools. We were fortunate to have him visit so I would like to thank Mr. Rockwood and the teachers on the Desire to Inspire team for bringing him in. I'd also like to thank each one of you. Afterwards, Congressman Kennedy remarked what a respectful, kind school you, we are. He left extremely impressed with each of you and I wanted to share with, how, share with you how proud that makes me and all of your teachers. Thank you. Tonight you get to see if the teachers can outdo the students with their talents. Hope to see you here at tonight's talent show for staff and share in the fun as we look to have a good time and raise monies for our grade eight trip to Washington. We're thrilled to learn that one of the HMS Destination Imagination teams is headed to the global tournament in Tennessee. This is a tremendous accomplishment and we're thrilled to congratulate Michael Giusti, Mahika Abraham, Akila, and Anath Sanjay. Best of luck to them. As you know, next week begins MCAS testing. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, you'll be taking the English MCAS test. We encourage you to put your best effort forward, confident the skills you've been working on all year will help you find success. Finally, April 14th, we'll be doing a new program. The high school will be hosting a girls robotics day from 2 until 4 p.m. Please see Mrs. Borges for more details. Thanks, have a great weekend and a great week. Thank you very much, Mr. Keller. Okay, now let's hear from you. For our question of the day, we wanted to know, who is the most powerful superhero and why? We like Hulk because he's strong and he's green. It's gotta be Batman because he's just awesome. That, that's the only explanation you should really need. My favorite superhero is Batman because he has lots of cats. Merma. Miss Forrester's favorite superhero is Iron Man. She was too scared to do this so the bunny did it for her. Captain America, because we're in America right now. Batman, because he is Batman. Manoli Barris is my favorite superhero because Manoli is... Manoli's awesome. Obviously. Hulk, because he's bigger than Brooke. And Sarah. Flash, because he's, he's faster, faster than, than Carly. Carly. <laughs> Batman, because he's a bat slash man. <laughs> I think the Hulk is the most powerful superhero. Because? Um, because he's wicked strong and he's green. Superman, because super is in his name. Batman, yeah. Batman. Spider-Man. Because he can do the thing <laughs> with his hand. Dun, Batman. Batman. Batman, because he's Batman. The Hulk, because he's handsome and green. The most powerful superhero in the world is Word Girl because she's so smart. Superman is the best because he's super. Batman because he turns into a bat. Uh, Superman because he saves the world. <laughs> Hulk because he's really strong. Gronk is because Gronk is a savage. 
Elastic Man! My favorite superhero is Tom Brady because he is awesome. My favorite superhero is Edelman because he's amazing. Those were some great answers, but I think Spider-Man is the most powerful superhero because he's a spider. All right, now it's time for Fun Fact Friday with Mr. Rockwood. Oh, good morning, and welcome to another Fun Fact Friday. Today we're going to celebrate three important Fridays coming up in the very near future. This coming Friday, April 1st, or April Fool's Day, our community and club members will be going around and gathering up all of the donation boxes for the Pennies for Patients fundraising drive. Thank you for your support. The next Friday that I want to mention is Friday, April 22nd. That's known as Earth Day. That's when we celebrate our wonderful planet. And lastly, Friday, April 29th, that's known as Arbor Day. And Arbor Day is important because, why is Arbor Day important? Because they, the trees give us air to breathe in. That's right, fresh air, that's always important. And, and why else? What, because they help with climate control. That's right, Lauren, climate control. So trees and plants, not only do they beautify our community, our wonderful community of Hopkinton, but they help us to breathe and they also control, help to control our climate. Thank you and have a wonderful weekend. Thanks again, Mr. Rockwood. And if you have an idea for a fun fact Friday, let Mr. Rockwood know and you might see it on the air. Now let's check out some answers for Have You Seen This? It was on HPTA board next to the nurse's office. Great job, Joseph Blodgett, Lillian York, Carly Stevens, and Vivian E. for finding it. Head to the main office after school to claim your prize. And of course, here's a new picture for you. If you know where it is, send us an email at hmstv at hillers.org and you could be our next winner. That's all for today, middle school. For HMS TV, I'm Kevin Wang. Now get out there and study hard.